Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 35-year-old female who injured her ankle five years ago. She's had continued pain since the injury, and the pain is over the posterior lateral aspect. There's a little thing here, a vitamin E capsule we put over the skin. This is her fibula, the small bone of the ankle coming down, and we see the back of the fibula is right here, and we see a couple tendons going around the back. The one in front, this is anterior, so the small tendon in front is called the perineus brevis tendon. The one in the back is the perineus longus tendon, and both of these look nice and normal on this view. We note that there's some faint low signal coming obliquely through the fibula. This is an old fracture that is healed. We note that there's a little bit of deformity of the posterior cortex, which is dark and black. comes down here and it makes a little jog, so a little bit of deformity from that. Oh, here you can see that fracture line even better. And it does push these tendons backwards, so that may, um, you would think that that may cause some irritation or abnormal stress on the perineus tendons, but they look pristine. They're nice and normal and signal. On the axial view here, we see the fibula. We see these two tendons, the perineus brevis in front, the longus in back, looking absolutely normal and signal. Here's our vitamin E capsule over the area of concern. And we see something else. It looks like another tendon back here, but it's too gray, like muscles. So this is an accessory muscle, one of the most common accessory muscles of the body. It's called a, an accessory perineus cortis muscle. So we have the perineus brevis, perineus longus, and this accessory perineus cortis muscle. It's usually behind these, and it comes down, down, down. This is called the flexor halysis muscle, and if we see this muscle coming down below the flexor halysis, we think it's either an accessory muscle, there it ends, or sometimes these muscles can be low-lying. You can have a low-lying muscle belly of these two tendons or a whole accessory muscle. But we can follow this muscle down, 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 clearly separate from these other two. And here it is back here. Looks like a third one. It attaches down here. So this is an accessory perineus cortis muscle belly. And that is right in the region of their clinical symptoms. Thank you very much.